What's going on, everybody? Back again with another Madden Psych. Back again with another football video. And today, guys, we're bringing you guys, you know, a little predictions thing. Who do you think is going to win video? Whatever the title should be for that. Whatever you call those things. Redskins. Packers at Redskins. Who do you guys have? Type it in the comments below. And make sure you put why, man. I don't want to just hear Packers, you know, Packers, Seahawks. I, I just don't want to hear Packers, Redskins, 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 Packers. Give me why, dude. I'm going to go into why. I'm going to give you who I pick right now. Okay, guys. I'm going to go with, drum roll, the Redskins. And here's why, guys. The Redskins are by far the best home team in the playoffs what i'm trying to say is they're the best team that plays and performs at home out of any of the teams in the playoffs some people might argue, argue panthers some people might argue cardinals i don't think anybody on the afc side anyone's going to argue that they're a great home team but panthers were just you know undefeated or almost undefeated in general so they're a great road team as well um but i you know the redskins you know you could just there's just a big gap you know, there's such a big gap. When they're playing at home, they're blowing teams out. They're winning all the time. And when they're on the road, they're losing. Like, you know, in, in regards to the Panthers, they're winning at home. They're winning on the road. So, you know, whatever. Uh, even though the Panthers are probably 8-0 and at home, I still think the Redskins are the best home t home base team due to Kirk Cousins being able to do what he wants at the line. He doesn't have to worry about the noise. He can hear Jay Gruden audibly in his head and his uh little head uh helmet and he could, the offense just runs smoother at home um i think kirk cousins is the guy for the redskins i think i believe that you know it's not rg3 here where next season he's gonna blow i think kirk cousins is on the uprise i believe that rg3 is definitely on his way out rg3 is not an nfl quarterback period um so everyone can get off that bandwagon and so that's pretty much why I'm taking the Redskins. I'm not taking them because I think they're going to shut down Aaron Rodgers. I just believe that that offense at home can just score. And I believe they'll keep scoring. I don't think the Packers have a chance at stopping, uh, you know, Kirk Cousins in his offense. Let me know who you guys are taking. Um, on the flip side, Packers, I would have taken the Packers if they had Jordy Nelson. And people are like, what? One receiver that's really going to influence your decision? But you got to understand, man, like, he's just, he's such a big part of that offense. For, people don't understand, but Jordy Nelson is, like, he's, like, the go-to guy in that offense. He's like, He takes the top off the defense. He runs, he runs all these third down routes. You know, he runs to the sticks. He runs, he's just, he's just an overall, he's mega underrated, guys. He's so good. Um definitely you know Aaron Rodgers definitely enhances Jordy Nelson for sure but you know he's so good he's such a great player and you know it sucks that he's not playing I would have took him because I think him and Rodgers that's an underrated you know duo right there that's just it's so good but yeah and on top of that I think they have the corners to cover Randall Cobb I think Chris Culliver can do a great job I think you know, um, Brashad Breeland, he's going to be able to uh, play and strap whoever he plays. Um, so, I mean, that's pretty much who I'm taking, guys. De I'm not really, I'm not looking at this, I'm not, I'm not looking at this as a defensive matchup. I honestly don't even know if there's going to be that much defense. Um, I do believe that the Redskins defense will get some stops, though, because um, they're very underrated at home. Because uh, they can play with the crowd noise, they can send the goons, they can send the pressure, whatever, whatever. But anyways, guys, let me know who you're taking in the comments below. Let me know why. And, you know, we'll get back at this video in a week and we'll see if I'll, I'm completely wrong or if I was right. Alright, guys, thanks so much for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, whatever that means. Take care.